Hi, everybody. I'm Gwendolyn Stirk, a Stirk for Emily Law, and I have the privilege and honor to have Dave King with me of Sleep in Heavenly Peace. Hi, Dave. How are you? Hello, hello. I'm doing very well. Thank you very much for having me. Oh, that's great. You know, we do a lot of um, charitable organizations and organizations as a whole that help kids in need. And I know that Sleep in Heavenly, Heavenly Peace is such an organization. Can you talk about who you serve? Um, so we serve um, children between the ages of three and 17 years old in the south suburbs. Um, so I always say basically um, just outside the city zone, the Chicagoland chapter usually handles everything uh, west of that. Great. And what do you provide for the kids? Um, each bed that we build comes complete with not only a sturdy frame, but also a brand new mattress, pillows, sheets, and either a comforter or a handmade quilt. Wow. Now, how did the concept of Sleep in Heavenly Peace start? Um, actually, back in 2012, uh, a gentleman named Luke Mickelson um, was doing a service project with his kids and uh, realized that there was a significant need in his area, not only for one bed, but for many. And then the more and more he got into it, the more he realized there was a need in almost every city across America. And from there, um, he started recruiting people to start their own chapters nationwide. And at this point, it's actually an international organization with chapters in Canada, Bermuda, and still growing. That's incredible. I mean, since 2012, that's a lot of growth. It sure is, wow. Now, how does a family who needs a bed get in touch with you guys to get some help and assistance? Uh, the way, the best way to get a hold of us is going through our website, uh, which is shpbeds.org. And um, from there, you'll reach out to your nearest chapter and see if they can help. Um, and that's not only as far as people that are looking to receive a bed, that's also for volunteers that are looking to assist us in the bed building and delivery process as well. Uh, we are 100% volunteer organization. So every dollar that we raise goes right towards the materials to build more beds. And um, every person helping us is doing it strictly out of the kindness of their heart and to really make our corner of the world a better place one bed at a time. Wow, 100% back into service is unbelievable. It's really unheard of for really an organization that's working in that capacity. Now, if somebody is in need of a bed, do they have to meet certain criteria or qualifications or do they just contact you and say, I have a need? Um, there is an application process that, they'll, um, that they will have to complete, but um, being very honest, if a child does not have a bed, then we want to build them one. No kid sleeps on the floor in our town. And that is our slogan and our mission and the way that it should be. Um, that's why this has spread so quickly throughout our country is because there really is a need everywhere. Um, but one thing that we have learned is everywhere that there is a need, there's also an army of volunteers that are willing to step up and donate their time, their skills, and um, their finances to make it happen. Um, one of the beautiful things about this is actually it's no experience is really required though. So you don't have to be a tool person to come out to one of the bed builds and make an impact and help. Um, that's, it's really the, the best part. It's a step-by-step -step process that we have out to these community builds. And um, it's awesome because then we can really get the community together and it's um, people helping people, humans helping humans. And um, one bed at a time, we're really changing these kids' lives. Right, so you actually build the bed and then you furnish it and you deliver it to the home. You do all yeah. the steps. Exactly, it starts off with fundraising. We literally um, will uh, then purchase the materials. We then um, host the public bed build events. We cut the wood, sand the wood, assemble the bed components, and then, um, we deliver them at another time, complete with the mattresses and uh, everything they need for a, a, a great night's sleep uh, so that they can sleep in heavenly peace, as we always say. That's great. Now, so you could get really involved in two ways. One is you could volunteer your time or you could donate, correct? Exactly. Is there any other things that there are needs that need to be met or is that really the essence of what happens? 
Um, those are the two main components, but really we need people spreading the word. Um, people like yourselves, um, it's, no one knows about us unless they hear about it. So um, we've really been doing our best to grow and reach as many kids as possible, um, especially considering some of the families that we're helping are not um, in situations where they're able to be on um, Facebook or social media and on their electronic devices all day. But they simply don't have access to them. So um, sometimes the resources that are out there aren't known um, and that's why we really appreciate people like yourselves and uh, Sturk Family Law for helping us get the word out and really reach more kids. Well sure what a great opportunity it is for us as well. Can you tell everybody about any events or fundraisers or bed builds that are soon to happen that maybe people, people can get involved in? Um, at the moment we're currently on hold due to the most recent restrictions um, in place by COVID. So um, unfortunately we are currently on hold, but we have plans and everything is ready to roll as soon as those restrictions are released. We do hope to reschedule a bed build event soon. And um, when we do, it will most likely be at the Oak Forest Fire Department. Uh, they have been very supportive of us, um, as well as several local organizations, businesses, and an absolute army of volunteers who we also call Bunkheads. So, Bunkheads. A what yes. a cool name. Yeah. <laughs> now, tell me, is there a social media page or outlet that people can follow then to know when the next opportunity may be? Yes, there is. So our Facebook page can be found by searching at Oak Forest SHP no spaces and that's how you'll come across our specific chapters page um, as i said there are well over 200 chapters nationwide as well as the sleep in heavenly peace um, headquarters page so um, feel free to um, jump on explore all the many many chapters in the many different areas and um, one cool feature is anytime um, once the world gets back to its regular ways and people are traveling um, it's also fun to sometimes join other chapters on bed builds in the event that you were traveling and they're hosting one. So we found oh, that to cool. be um, very cool because with um, over 200 chapters, there's um, one right. happening almost every weekend, it seems. So um, right. it's just to hear about it and um, the many opportunities that exist. Now, if somebody wanted to make a donation and do they go to the website and make a donation to the general organization or can they specifically earmark a donation to our local community? Um, both. So you can, uh, we always encourage if you wanted to go to a specific chapter to go to that chapter's Facebook page and uh, at the very top it will be tagged the donation site as well as additional information about the organization. Um, so um, we do encourage everyone to donate to the specific chapter they want. That way the funds can sometimes stay more localized. Um, sure. the good is even in the event that it donates and goes to the main organization the main organization of course supports every chapter and it's still going towards the big picture of building beds for kids which is why we all do this um, no kid sleeps on the floor in our town and like I said it's not just our town it's the entire south suburbs for our chapter and it's the entire state from all of our chapters and it's the entire country from the organization as a whole Right, no kids should sleep on the floor, that's for sure. Is there any other additional information that you can share with us that you think people might want to know about? Um, the uh, events that we host will be listed on the events tab of the Facebook page. So okay. uh, we will update that very soon. So check back the events tab and thanks again for mentioning that and bringing that up. We do hope to have them rescheduled very soon. Um, and at this point, really, I would um, just like to, to end this with a, a huge thank you. Um, a thank you to not only the SHP core crew of volunteers, but the army of volunteers, the unbelievable amount of donors, supporters, sponsors, and um, really everybody that makes SHP possible. Like I said, it's a volunteer organization, and without everybody donating their time, none of this would be possible. So um, thank you again, Stark Family Law and Gwen and um, everybody that's behind the scenes for making this possible at the moment. And um, we do hope to um, get together soon with the bed bill that we talked about and uh, look forward to joining forces. 
That's fantastic. And you know, it's our privilege and honor to help because you're right. No kid should ever sleep on the floor. And you know, but for the grace of God, go I and go you and go anyone else. And when we keep that in perspective, we can certainly come together as a community and help children at whatever stages they are. You know, we're committed to many children's organizations and it's our privilege and honor to be part of this. So Kelly will be sharing the contact information. If you're listening today, please reach out to Sleep in Heavenly Peace whether you can volunteer, whether you have a teenager that maybe this is a good project for them to get involved in. Think of all the ways that you can give back. And what an amazing organization to hear that 100% of your donations actually get utilized. That's awesome. So thanks for your time today. We really appreciate it. We appreciate what you do. Thank you.